So the Terriers of Boston University come back home, a feel-good win, no doubt about it. What's up everyone, Laura here with the last This Is Terrier Town episode of 2021 and lots has happened since last time. The swim and dive in track and field seasons got underway, the men's basketball team is off to its best start since the 2004-2005 season and the men's hockey team recorded its first weekend sweep of the season against New Hampshire. The guys started that series with their first regulation win in Aganis since October. The final score was 3-1 and it nearly could have been 5-1 had these two goals from Alex Vlasic not been overturned for goalie interference and offsides. Vlasic waltzes to the near circle for oh. a shot and a goal! Yeah. Alex Vlasic gives the Terriers the lead. Vlasic, Vlasic oh. in front of the goal! Alex Vlasic from the half wall. Boy, talk about a Terrier season. Ridiculous luck, two goals called back. But maybe after that Thursday's practice, he should have seen that one coming. We mic'd Alex up for practice that day and got a good look at another goal that wasn't, but almost was. Dude, oh, I mic'd up, chill, chill, chill. Good rep, two, three. You're looking good. Here we go, two, three. Gosh, I was gonna bring over the mac and cheese and hot dogs later. A couple of juice boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can build like a four maybe with some cushions. What kind of movie do you want to watch at Disney Plus? Um, we can just like run through the toy stores if you want. Yeah. You can bring like Scooby Doo snacks or mac and cheese and hot dogs, but like not everyone's invited. Can you make sure you send me those uh, carrot cake recipes? Yeah, I got you. I want to give them to my mom for the holiday. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Nice. I'll just ask my grandma for him. No, I know you've been working on him, so. Yeah, yeah. Case Ovechkin, Case Ovechkin. Yeah, I'll take it, but I got math class tonight. I got a dollar. They got two or three out. Who? What? what place? Factory? They don't have, they don't have two or three cheesecake. Wait, we're not doing cheesecake tonight. It's crazy. Yeah, you can't afford that, Tucky. I can't teach that to What? That's sauce I just threw. You didn't see it? No. Probably in the page. We're going to go back to that. To the bucket. Showdown. Hey, let me score, right? I'm mic'd up. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cut this. Cut this. Where are you let shooting? me go five four. I'm going to go right side and just like cut across and go five four. I got to look good. I got to look good. Five? I got it. Supposed to let me score. He didn't even mean to save it. He's like, oh no. I was gonna try and win the thing and then throw my stick in the stands. I'm actually rattled. Six days, I would have I should have just actually tried if he was like gonna stop it. Like Six days. Hey mess up. I didn't drop, I just left my stick right here. You just sauce it over. I can't sauce a buck, you know that. Just cut all that out. Chip for lunch? Will I buy you chip? No, but I'll go with you. All right, sweet. <laughs> and that's my cue. Sorry, Alex, that one was too good to cut out. But if you're looking for sympathy, you can ask Walter White. He knows all about that life. <laughs> Don't pose that one. Let me go again. Let me go again. And after that last episode, we actually had requests for more BU Band content. So since we're in the holiday giving spirit, we compiled a whole segment with the band's favorite memories. Here's their stories. It was the very last sporting event that we played right before the COVID pandemic lockdown. It was men's basketball versus Colgate for the Patriot League Championship. It's 
goes down to the wire and we win and it's a five hour drive back. So at this point it's about midnight when we leave and everyone's really hungry. So uh, we stop at this McDonald's. I have no clue where it was. It's the kind of dark where like you get off the bus and it's just the light of McDonald's and you can't see beyond it. And this one woman was working by herself and she just has to deal with the men's basketball team, the band, some cheer, some dancers and a mascot showing up at three in the morning, crazed out of their minds. It was men's hockey East semifinals. And the thing that I remember most fondly from that game is that my section, the tuba section, actually had, I think one of us brought bread, someone else brought deli meats, and someone else brought like mayonnaise and mustard or something. And so we were like making sandwiches in the back of the band. I just, I remember feel, being in the moment feeling like this is like one of those like crazy band things that people do when they're in college and stuff. It was um, Red Hot Hockey 2019. From Madison Square Garden, the world's most famous arena, welcome to Red Hot Hockey number seven. Jimmy and I, we found this show, High School Musical, the musical of the series. And it was dropping on Disney Plus, and we were like, what if we hate watched it on the bus ride home from Red Hot Hockey? So we get back to the buses, we like find a seat, we sit down, we like get it all set up on the phone. And by that point, I think like four episodes of this show or something were out. So we watched the show, we watched the four episodes, we look at the time, it's like 3.30 in the morning. So we said it was stupid, but like it's, we're hooked on this now. After that, we met up like every week to like watch the new episode that came out. And my favorite band travel memory was definitely the Women's Bean Pot my sophomore year, uh, which was 2019. It was however many minutes into overtime. Comper shoots, Davis scores! And the Terriers for the first time since 19. The whole band freaks out, like half of us play the song one way that we thought we were supposed to do it, half of us do it the other way. They're like dogpiling in the corner, uh, you know, as soon as they got the trophy they skated right over to us with it. We won the game at like, I don't know, let's say 11.15. We were there for a solid hour after the game ended, like we played All I Do Is Win, we're, we're playing our alma mater, we're playing the fight song. I don't think I've ever seen the band that happy or excited at a game ever since. And in 2019, the Terriers are queens of the ice here in Boston. Being serenaded by the BU Pep Band right now, and they're joining in. Thanks for sharing, guys. But one thing I really want to know is how you managed to practically time travel from Red Hot Hockey in New York to Case Gym to cheer on the men's basketball team by the next morning. The dedication was truly unmatched. And last up, the athletics department participated in the 25th annual holiday reading program. Over 100 athletes, coaches, and staff visited five different Boston public elementary schools and read to classes before their break. Well, that's all we have for 2021. Happy holidays, and we'll see you in the new year.